التمجيد للطبيب السماوي معالج الجراح واي داء وشاف النفوس والاجساد التكريم لمصدر المعونات السماويه الذي منه تفيض البركات للبشريه السبح لمن ارتضى فاخذ كل ما لنا ما خلى الخطيئه وابرا اسقام البريه وترك لها تعاليم الالهيه ادويه شافيه واطلق بنيها من قبور العبوديه ورتب لهم اصواما نقيه لتكون لهم الى نعيم سبيلا سويا الصالح الذي به يليق المجد والشكر ولابيه المبارك ولروحه القدوس في هذا الوقت وفي كل وقت وحين والى ابد الابدين فنخمر لك المجد ربنا يسوع المسيح يا بحر الرحمة ومعين الصالحات لك الشكر يا غمر النعمة الفائد بالخيرات والمالح مختلف الهبات يا من أفضت علينا رأفتك وغمرتنا بنعيم معجزاتك فشفيت مرضانا وأدخلت العزاء إلى قلوبنا فأنت الطبيب الذي نزل من السماء ليشفي أسقامنا ويداوي ضرباتنا ويطهر البرصا ويفتح عيون العميان ويغفر اثام الخطاة الذين اليه يلتجئون انت الذي حررت ابنه الكنعانيه المصروعه من الروح الشرير وجعلت البكم ينطقون وبلاهوتك يبشرون وبشارتك في المسكونة ينشرون أنت هو الطبيب السماوي الذي شفيت عبد الرئيس بإشارتك وقمت الأموات بصرختك ونحن الآن نتضرع إلى لطفك لتؤهلنا للوقوف عن يمينك وتحسن يا رب مع ملي رادتك والسالكين بحسب شريعتك اللهم وارض بصومنا وصلاتنا وخدمتنا وقونا على العمل الصالح الذي يرضي مشيئتك يا رب وقع جذور الغضب والحقد من قلوبنا واملاها بالمحبة والعطف على الأيتام والمحتاجين لئلا ترذل صلاتنا بقول النبي إن الله يرذل صومنا وصلاتنا 
إن كنا لا نشفق على البؤساء من إخوتنا اللهم ولا تذع عبادتنا كما ربلت عبادة الفريسي الذي افتخر بصومه وصلاته بل اقبلها يا رب كصلاة العشار المعترف بذنوبه وماثمه وجد علينا بجزيل الخيرات ونجنا من التجارب والضيقات واجعل يا رب من مكايد إبليس لا منجات وقونا لنتغلب عليه ونقهره وكن لنا في الشدائد عونا وفي التجارب ملجأ واجعل هذا البخور المعطر أمامك أفرانا لذنوبنا ولتكن فيه راحة تامة لأمواتنا سائلين إياك أن تحصيهم على الأبرار والصالحين وتقيمهم عن جانبك اليمين فنسبحك وإياهم وأباك وروحك القدوس ألا أنا وكل أوان وإلى بدل أبدين أمن بارخون من الله قبل حسو يتحاب والشبق ودح طاهب أفعيه علم العالم علمي
book of Acts to the Holy Apostles, Baruch Mor. Praise be the Lord of the Apostles. May their prayers be with us. Amen. Habibai. Now in the church that was at Antioch, there was a certain prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who had brought up with the Herod of Tetarch and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. But when they arrived to Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. They also had John as their assistant. Now when they had gone through the island to Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew named, whose name was Barn Jesus, who was the proconsul, Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the sorcerer, for his name is translated, withstood them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, O full of all deceit and all fraud, you, son of the devil, you, enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the Lord? And now, indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately a dark mist fell on him, and he went around seeking someone to lead him by hand. The proconsul believed when he saw what, he had been, what had been done, being astonished at the teachings of the Lord Baruch Mor. Epistle of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, Baruch Mor. Praise be to the Lord of the Apostles, may his prayers be with us. Amen. Ahai, and we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good both for yourselves and for all. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing in everything. Give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved, blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read to all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, Baruch Mor.
فجاء إليه جمع كثيرة معهم عرج وعمي وخرس وشل وآخرون كثيرون وطرحوهم عند قدم يسوع فشفاهم حتى تعجب الجموع إذ رأوا الخرس يتكلمون والشل يصحون والعرج يمشون والعمي يبصرون ومجد إله إسرائيل شينا وشنام ولكل خور Glory to the good Lord who broke his body and gave us to eat and mixed his blood and gave us to drink and made us inherit his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory, honor, and worship at this time of the celebration of the divine Eucharist and at all feasts, times, hours, and seasons, all the days of our life forever. Absolve our purifier and forgive our wife, blot out and remember not our wickedness, O Lord God. Blot out by the mercy of your loving kindness my many great and countless sins and the sins of your faithful people. O good one, have compassion and mercy upon us. Remember us, O Lord God, in your mercy. And remember also our souls and the souls of our fathers. Our brethren, our elders, our teachers, our departed ones, and all the faithful departed, the children of your holy and glorious church. O Lord God, grant rest to their souls, spirits, and body. And spark of mercy and compassion on their bones. And be an atonement and a partner unto us and unto them. O Christ our King, O Lord our God, the Master of the glory. 
Answer us, O Lord, and come to our aid. Come to say to our help, save us and accept our prayers and petitions. Remove, O Lord, in your mercy all hard punishments, and prevent forbidden move from us. Lacerating rods so fraud. O Lord of peace and tranquility, make us fruit of the good end. Prepared for the men of peace. Grant us that the Christian end, which is dear and proper to you, and pleasing to the honor of your Lordship, to you raise the glory and thanksgiving now, always, and forever. God the Father, who is invisible to the angels and archangels, before your beloved Son, who revealed Himself to the world by His love, before your Holy Spirit, who cleansed the world by His grace, and before your holy altar, where divinity is proclaimed, and the Holy Trinity abides, we present this sacrifice that it may be for the remission of Christ's passes, the forgiveness of sins. The blood, blotting out of the transgressions of all your flock, and the rest and good remembrance of all the faithful departed. We offer your glory and thanksgiving now, always, and forever. Amen. May the Lord accept your petition and help us by your prayer. Men alone, Kabel Hussein, Habi or Shukhan or Dahtohe, Bethrehun al Men Olam Olami. Amen. 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 With wisdom, let us give heed and stand well in prayer as the Reverend Priest responds, saying, We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, who was begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten and not made. And my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, pray for my God. Who all things were made, my brothers were for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, Mother of God. And he became man and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. And he suffered, died, and was buried. And on the third day he rose according to his will and ascended into heaven. And he sits at the right hand of his Father. And he will come again with great glory to judge both the living and the dead. And his kingdom shall have no end. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life to all, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets and the apostles, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the new life in the world to come. Amen.
Thanksgiving unto your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Amen. Peace be to all of you. And with your Spirit, let us give peace to one another, everyone to his neighbor. With a holy and divine kiss, and the love of our Lord and God, after this holy and divine peace has been given, let us bow down our heads before the merciful Lord, before you, our Lord and our God. And bless all of us with your blessings which cannot be taken away, and make us worthy to do your will, and that of your only begotten Son and of your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Amen. Drive away from us, O Lord, all foul thoughts. Through the sacrifice we offer unto you, enlighten by our souls and sanctify our bodies, that we may offer your praise and thanksgiving unto your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us stand with modesty, let us stand with purity, and let us stand in holiness. And let us all stand, my brethren, in love and true faith. Let us eternally behold in the fear of God this awesome and holy Eucharist, which is being set before us by this reverend priest, who in peace and tranquility offers a living sacrifice on our behalf. To God the Father, Lord of all, mercy, peace, and sacrifice of thanksgiving. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and the descent of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with you Let our minds, our souls, and our hearts at this hour be above with Christ, and from the right hand of God the Father, we are with the Lord, God. Let us thank the Lord, my brother, it is worthy and right. 
With the thousands of thousands and the millions of millions of the fiery angels who stand before you, O Lord, and unceasing glorify you. May we also be worthy to praise you thrice, crying out and saying, Adi. Also the cup which he bled in wine and water, he blessed and sanctified and perfected it as the precious blood for eternal life to those who receive it. And as he entrusted these sacraments to his holy disciples, he commanded them, saying, Do this in remembrance of me until I come. Church, O Lord, remembers of your redeeming dispensation and your fearful second coming, in which everyone shall be ordered according to their deeds. She and your repentant life beseech you, through you and with you to your Father, saying, Have mercy upon us. Sinful servants, offer you with thanksgiving and close your loving kindness unto all and for all. this hour and how awful this time my beloved we're in the holy spirit from the top most house of heaven takes wing and descends and hovers and rests upon this eucharist 
here, present and sanctifies it, being calm and all while standing and praying, pray, may peace and harmony be with us all. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me, O Lord. O good one, have compassion and mercy upon us. And may the Holy Spirit perfect this bread into the body of Christ, our God. And may the Holy Spirit change the mixture in this cup to the blood of Christ, our God. So that these sacraments may be unto all who partake of them for the absolution of their trespasses, and may they inherit eternal life by them, that they may offer you praise and thanksgiving and to your only begotten Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Amen. Barakmo, let us pray and beseech our Lord and God at this great and awful and holy time for all our fathers and leaders who are ruling over us this day, and in this present life, who tend and rule the holy churches of God in the four corners of the world, our holy, venerable, and blessed patriarchs, more and more Ignatius of Frame second, and more Theodorus second, our Catholicos, more Basilios Thomas first, and our prelate, more Dionysius that they may be confirmed by God with the rest of the old Orthodox bishops. May their prayers be a stronghold for us. Let us beseech the Lord. O Lord, grant your holy church peace and tranquility and her prelates a good and peaceful old age. Appoint pastors for her who correctly interpret the word of the truth. That may offer your praise and thanksgiving unto your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Baruch Moore, again we commemorate her who was worthy to be blessed and glorified by all the generations of the earth, the holy. Glorious, blessed, exalted, and ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her lives were the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, the blessed St. John the Baptist, the messenger of one of his master, the holy, illustrious St. Stephen, the head of the deacons and the first of the martyrs, and the exalted chiefs of the apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul. Let us remember together all the faithfully departed saints, both men and women. May their prayers be a stronghold for us. Let us beseech the Lord. Shelter us, O Lord, under the wings of your saints and place us in their ranks. So that you may, with them we may offer praise and thanksgiving to you and to your only begotten Son. And to your Holy Spirit now, always and forever. Amen. more again, we remember all the faithful who this holy sanctuary. 
from this place and from everywhere have departed, fallen asleep in true faith and are at rest and have attained to you, O God, the Father, a spirit and of all flesh. Let us ask and beseech Christ our God, who has received their souls and spirits unto himself, that in his abundant mercy he may make them worthy of the remission of trespasses and the forgiveness of sins, and carry us and them to his heavenly kingdom. Together let us cry. Mercifully upon our departed ones, O Lord, absolve their debts and forgive their shortcomings, because the body and the blood of your only begotten Son is concealed in their bodies, by whom we trust to find mercy and forgiveness of sins for us and for them. O God, absolve our them, forgive our offenses and their which we have committed before you, willingly or unwillingly. Knowingly or unknowingly, make us and our departed ones worthy of a Christian end, while remember not our transgressions and theirs, so that in this as in everything, your all honored and blessed name may be praised, extolled and glorified, with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and that of your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Amen. As it was in the beginning, it is, is now, and ever shall be, world within. Uh, and Amin Baruch Mor. Peace be to all of you. And with your spirit. May the mercy of the Almighty God and our Savior Jesus Christ be with you, my brothers and sisters, for Let us give thanks to God the Father, worship His only begotten Son, 
and glorify his Holy Spirit, committing our life into the hands of the merciful God. Let us beseech mercy of his love and kindness. O good one, spare us and have mercy upon us. Unto you and before your God who accepts the prayers and answers petitions. We pray this Lord's prayer which your holy and only begotten Son taught us. Crying with a penitent heart and saying, Abunet Beshmayo. Forgive our sins and transgressions, and be an absolver to us and to all those who trespass against us in whatever manner, so that we may offer you praise and thanksgiving unto your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, now, always, and forever. Amen. Peace be to all of you. And with your spirit, before receiving these divine and holy mysteries that have been offered, let us bow before the merciful Lord, before you, our Lord and our God. O Lord, lift your right hand and pour forth your blessings upon your people that are waiting to receive the body and the blood of your only begotten Son. Sanctify our souls and bodies, that we may offer your praise and thanksgiving, and to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit now, always and forever. May the grace and mercy of the Holy and Glorious Trinity and created eternal and everlasting upon the persons be with you, my brothers and sisters, for forever. Amin, with fear and trembling, let us behold. O Lord, have compassion and mercy upon us and help us. It is right that these mysteries be given only to the holy and the pure. One holy Father, one holy Son. One Holy Spirit, glory be 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who are one forever and ever. Amen. With us is the one Holy Father, who by His mercy formed the world. Amen. With us the one Holy Son, who by His own precious sufferings redeemed the world. Amen. With us the one Holy Spirit, who is the perfect and the fulfiller of all that has been and all that will be. In the name of the Lord, be blessed forever and ever. be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, in the fourth Sunday of the Holy Land, today we heard a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, and this reading was about the woman of Canaan, or the Canaanite woman. We heard in the Gospel of St. Matthew how this woman came to the Lord, she was following the Lord. She asked him to heal and to help her daughter. Um, we heard how the Gospel of St. Matthew said, Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. So, what we see here with the Lord Jesus Christ is he was a preaching. And as he said to this woman, I was sent to the Israelites, to those who lived in Israel. And my mission was to help those, to help them. To start with those. And after a time, after the ascension of the Lord, it would be the mission of his disciples to go everywhere and to pray the word of God to all those people, to the Gentiles. But again, in the same chapter, if you go back to the verses, to the first verses of this chapter, or to the, chap to the chapter before, you see how those Israelites were complaining. 
they were against the Lord, against God. So the Lord was giving them a message, a spiritual message, about the great faith of this woman. This woman was a Gentile, and I'm sure that you heard that before. Those people, like for the Israelites, they hated those people, those from Tyre and Sidon, because those people brought the worship of like different gods or other gods to the kingdom of Israel. So, if you go back to the book of Kings in the Old Testament, you see how one of the queens there, Jezebel, was the first one who started worshipping other gods, like pagan gods in the kingdom of Israel. So, Jezebel or Isabel was one of those who lived in Tyre and Sidon. And from that time, until we reach the time of the Lord Jesus, the Israelites used to call those who are from Tyre and Sidon dogs. They did not respect those people. And the Lord Jesus Christ here is using the same language, the language of his people. But he said that it's not against the women, it's against his people who were complaining. And he was trying to show those people how the woman, this woman, you call her a dog? Believe me, she has a deep faith, better than all of you. For that, he used her, their language, the Israelite, the Israelite's language, to show them the great faith of this woman. But again, going back to this woman, what happened with her wasn't easy. This woman was trying to read the Lord Jesus Christ to help her, because uh, her daughter uh, needed help. So, the first message that we see here in this reading is, when we pray for others, the Lord is listening. When we try to help others, our sons, our daughters, parents, relatives, friends, what we see here is, when this woman came to the Lord, her deep faith in God helped her daughter. And again, we use that every time, whenever we have a baptism, whenever we baptize our babies, we always tell the parents that we are baptizing the babies. Of course, those babies cannot speak, cannot announce their faith in God. But we bring them here, we baptize them, because of the faith of their parents. For that faith, the faith of their parents, we baptize, we baptize the babies. So here we see it how when God saw the great faith of this woman, the Lord healed her daughter. And last week we heard about the four men who brought their paralytic friend. When the Lord saw the great faith of the four men healed their friend. But again, with this woman, it wasn't, her mission wasn't easy. Because to come to the land of Israel, and she knew that all those who lived there hated her. They didn't like her. Like even the disciples who were with the Lord, and they were with the Lord for years, when they saw her, they said to the Lord, to the Lord please send her away. We don't want her to be here. So again, even the disciples of the Lord went back to that Jewish menta mentality. We, we, we are, we're rejecting those people. We're against those people. We don't want her to be here. But again, the Lord is teaching them a great faith, a lesson about the great faith of this woman. Now, for this woman to come again, to come to the land of Israel, it wasn't easy. So, we learn a lot from this woman. Because when she came there, and everybody was against her, and she started crying out and asking the Lord for help, the Lord did not say anything. He said no words. And maybe when we reflect that in our lives today, sometimes even when we pray, we feel that maybe God is not, we ask ourselves, ourselves if, if God is listening to our prayers. Sometimes we feel that the Lord, our God, is not listening. But what happens there is, sometimes our faith might be tested. So with this woman, her faith was tested. 
And God, maybe sometimes, He tries to, to test our faith. Of course, we're not talking about temptations. Temptations are from Satan. But sometimes, with our faith, God tries to test our faith, and He's not doing that against us. He's trying to show our deep faith in His name. So, when we talk about your faith might be tested, it can be in different ways. For instance, sometimes God gives a difficult new task to His followers. And going back to the, if you go back to the book of Genesis, you see how God called Noah to build an ark. And if you think about it, it's impossible. Like today, think about it. If someone comes to you or God talks to you in a revelation or in a dream, God calls you to do that. I would say, oh, it's impossible. It's hard to do that. So sometimes God, maybe we feel that our, te- our faith uh, is tested through like a new task or a difficult task. But again, what happened with Noah is he answered and he built the ark. And until this day, we talk and we pray, and, and when we talk and when we pray about, about like, God, we want a great faith, we remember the story of Noah, the one who saved himself and saved his family. <laughs> and sometimes when we talk about our faith might be tested, it can be a major change in our lives. It's like today when God calls me to or I feel that I'm, I'm, I'm going through, through something and my life will be changed. That can affect my faith. And my faith might be tested. For instance, today, I, well, I used to live in the Middle East. Then I, have, I had to move to come to the West or to America. It's a big change in my life. It's a major change in my life. But with all of that, I should show my faith, my deep faith in God. Is there are different things happen in my life, but I still have God here. I still have that relationship with the Lord, and I can work hard on that faith. So maybe before it was easier to worship God. That's what most of our people feel. But believe me, even here, there are different ways to worship God and to be with God, and you can create and find that time to worship Him and to be with Him. But again, our faith might be uh, tested when we see a major change in our lives. Also, sometimes when we talk about worshiping God and spending time with the Lord, and we are waiting for, at the same time after that, we are waiting for His promises in our lives. So I want something from the Lord, and I always keep asking Him, when, when, when? When is that? So, can be when I go through something, can be through, like, some hardships, etc. So, there are different things happens in our lives, just like this Canaanite woman. She went to the Lord, she was asking Him to help her daughter, and the Lord did not say anything. Until the point when the Lord said to her, O oh woman, great is your faith. So when we talk about our faith might be tested, we have to focus on how to stay firm during the test of faith. And my focus here should be on the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, Himself. Um, I was listening to a spiritual message a few weeks ago, and someone was talking about, one of the theologians was talking about, even when you feel that you live in an, an, in an unholy area, unholy place. For instance, sometimes people go to specific areas. Even back then, many, like hundred years ago, there are people who uh, Missionaries or missions went to different places and they had to deal with pagans, with Gentiles, with, with people 
for not only atheists or don't believe in God, they worship Satan in different ways. So this person was talking about how those people, when they went there, they felt that they are walking in unholy area, unholy place. So their mission there was to focus on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is our mission today. Even when I feel that everything is closed, or I'm asking God for something, just like this woman, she was asking the Lord, sometimes we feel that God is not listening. But what we learn from this reading today is the Lord is always listening. God is listening to our prayers. But His action can be different. His times can be different. We expect few things from the Lord. But believe me, the Lord has His ways. The Lord has His times. And even when we feel that we're waiting and waiting and waiting, we should have faith that God is listening. And my focus should not be on the other distractions. Like this woman, I'm sure that when she was there, different people said different things to her. Even the disciples of the Lord wanted to send her away. Just leave, just go somewhere. We don't want you here. But her focus wasn't on the distractions. And sometimes we have different and many distractions in our lives as believers, believers in Christ. Her focus was on the Lord Jesus Christ. And today when we talk about distractions, when we talk about uh, our faith might be tested, when we pray, we should always focus on one thing, on the name of the Lord Jesus. Because after a time, you will see how my faith can be used to show others the way to the Lord. And today when we talk about like temptations, when we talk, when we talk about different things happens um, in our lives as believers, maybe uh, the good thing to do is to read about those who went through what we are going through today in our lives. So sometimes even when we read about the Lord Jesus Christ, at some point when we feel that we are weak spiritually, we may say to ourselves, but again, I mean, the Lord Jesus is God. And of course, He was able to defeat Satan and to do all of that. But when we read more testimonies about people, just like all of us, people went through different things, different hardships, and they succeeded, they defeated Satan, and they kept their faith in the name of God, you can take those people, or you feel that now I can take those people as role models in my life as a Christian and as a believer. For that, even when I read this reading today about the Canaanite women, it would be so easy if the Lord would give her what she needs. For instance, she prayed, she was following the Lord. It would be easier maybe for her if God would say to her, Deep is your, great is your faith and that's it. Your daughter um, uh, is safe. You don't need to come to do to this area, you don't need to meet all those people. But the Lord wanted her to come. The Lord wanted her to cry out. The Lord wanted to show others the deep faith of this woman. And today, even when we go through some hardships, we may feel that God is not listening. He is listening. But His reaction may take time. His reaction can be different, and His times are different than our times. Why? Because at the end, God can use what I go through in my life as a believer to show others how to follow the right path. Just like today when we talk about parents and their kids. Kids love to learn from their parents' experiences. Like when they went through something or when they share with them different stories about the past, they like it. And they feel that they can do the same thing. Just like what happened here with the, with the same with one family, when we talk about our Christian family as believers, God can use our stories, just like this kind of women, to show others the right path, how to follow Him. And again, the Lord here on this reading is emphasizing on how to pray for each other. We 
we need to pray for each other. Yes, sometimes it's not easy. Last Sunday, we saw how the four men with their paralytic friend, they had to create something. They had to find a new way to bring their friend to the Lord. And today with this woman, it was so easy. Imagine if you go somewhere and you feel that you're, well, you're not welcome there. Nobody wants you there. But you go there because you want to help someone. You want to save someone. So even when you feel that there are obstacles, there are problems, we have to focus on the Lord Jesus and to work hard on that goal because at the end, my goal is to save someone, is to help someone. So even when we talk about friends, our daughters, sons, people who need our help, I should keep my faith in the Lord and find different ways to bring that person to the Lord. Today, when maybe when I go to my work, even with my family, with my friends, I may feel that there are people who don't care about their faith. <laughs> Remember that it's your mission, just like the women of Canaan, just like the four friends from last Sunday's reading. It's our mission, it's our calling to bring those to Christ, to create something. Sometimes I know that this person loves to, to sing. Let me bring him to, the, to sing with the choir. He loves some specific activities. Let me bring him to participate in this kind of activities. Um, he lacks something about you know, knowledge. Let me help him to read more about the Word of God. Some people, when we talk to them, we feel that they, don't, they don't believe in the real presence of God in the Holy Eucharist. Let me help him. Let me bring him some good books to read about the Holy Eucharist. So there are different ways that I can use today to help others to come closer to God and to work on their salvation. Ahibaibi, هذا الأحد بخصار طبعا مرحبا والعليكم بس أحب أتأمل بنقطة واحدة من لقاء المرأة الكنعانية مع يسوع. طبعا بلقاء الكنعانية مع يسوع نشوف أن هناك الكثير من المعاني والكثير من المعطيات الإيمانية. اللي يحاول انجيل متى يوصلها لالنا. ولكن يمكن الموضوع الوحيد اللي اللي او اللي هو العميق اللي لازم نفكر فيه اليوم انه في كل لقاء مع يسوع قد يكون هناك معوقات. يعني اليوم في بعض الاحيان عندما نحكي انه احاول كمسيحي انه التقي مع يسوع لازم دائما اتذكر انه لقائي مع يسوع قد يتخلله المعوقات. يعني اليوم يمكن إذا اليوم أنا أفكر أنه أكو في الطريق واضح راح أسلكه حتى ألتقي مع يسوع. نعم الطريق هو موجود. لقائي معنا من خلال الكنيسة، لقائي معنا من خلال النشاطات الروحية وإلى آخره. ولكن لازم دائما أتذكر أنه في لقائي مع يسوع قد يتخلل هذا اللقاء معوقات معينة. ولهذا إحنا نشوف اليوم هناك معوقات بحياة المسيحي. تواجهه في بعض الأحيان. مثلاً عندما نحكي عن هناك تحدي المقاومة اللي هو ظروف ما تكون المقاومة قد تكون هي أشخاص وقد تكون هي ظروف. اليوم شفنا بموقف التلاميذ وموقف الجموع من مرأة كنعانية كان هو موقف يقاوم مجيء الكنعانية إلى يسوع. فقد تكون هي بعض الأحيان هم أشخاص يقاومون لقاء مع يسوع. في بعض الأحيان قد يكون هو هي ظروف. مرات إحنا مر بظروف. نحس انه احنا نريد نكون مع يسوع بس ظروفنا هي ما تسمح ظروفنا هي اقوى من عندنا. ولكن الحقيقه انه في لقائي مع يسوع اذا كان هدفي هو يسوع ويسوع فقط راح يكون هذا اللقاء هو اهم من من اي معوق ومن اي مشكله قد تواجهني بهذا اللقاء، لانه في النهايه في لقاء الكنعانيه مع يسوع كان هناك هدف. كان هناك هدف شفاء. الكنعانيه كانت قد تحاول انه توصل شفاء من الله من يسوع المسيح الى بنته. اذا اليوم عندما انا اجي عند يسوع وعندي فد هدف وعندي فد غايه هذا الهدف وهالغايه هي اولويه بحياتنا. يعني اليوم مش قد ما انا افكر بارتباطاتي الدنيويه وبالمعوقات اللي قد تقف بيني وبين يسوع لاي سبب من الاسباب التزامات معوقات مرات حتى التزاماتنا بحياتنا تصبح هي فد معوق بلقائي مع يسوع او لقاء بنتي او ابني مع يسوع. يعني هذا النص اللي يحكي على على بنت الكنعانيه، شفاء ابنه الكنعانيه. 
اذا اليوم انا لازم احاول قدر الامكان اركز على لقائي مع الله، اركز على لقاء اولادي مع الله. هذا الشيء لازم يكون هو فت حاجه واولويه بحياتنا، لانه بالنهايه الطلب هو طلب شفاء. شفاء مو بس يكون من مرض، شفاء روحي او تغيير بحياه هذا الانسان وبحياه ابني او بنتي او او انسان قريب من عندي. هون نشوف انه دائما ابليس يحاول ان يبعد الانسان من خلال معوقات كثيره عن الله. لكن يبقى الهدف الاسمى انه هذا الانسان يتقرب اكثر واكثر من الله وان ما ينتبه للملاهيات اللي قد تكون من حولنا. نعم بعض الاحيان الكثير من الملاهيات اللي يحاول ابليس يدخلها بحياتنا حتى يبعدنا عن يسوع. ليش؟ لانه ابليس يعرف انه بلقائي مع يسوع راح اخذ فت حاجه اساسيه بحياتي. ولهذا ربنا دائما هو ينتظرنا ولكن احنا شنو موقفنا من عند يسوع؟ ابليس يحاول انه هاي الصوره يغيرها. ابليس يحاول انه يبعدنا من فكره انه انت اذا التقيت مع يسوع راح تحصل مرادك من الله او راح تلتصق بيسوع يسوع راح يغير حياتك. يسوع او عفوا ابليس يحاول انه يشوه الصوره يدخلك انه علاقتك مع يسوع هي فد روتين، راح تروح للكنيسه ماكو اي تغيير، انت روتين قد تسويه. ولكن الله بالطرف الاخر يقول انه بروحتك للكنيسه هناك تغيير قاعد يحدث في حياتك اذا انت عملت على هذا التغيير، اذا انت كان طموحك أن يكون هو اتحاد يكون عندك اتحاد حقيقي مع الله من خلالك ومن خلال عائلتك. ابليس دائما يحاول انه يبهض صورة لقائنا مع يسوع يقلل من اهميته اذا رحت او ما رحت اذا عندك اولويات اهتم باولوياتك راح يجي فد يوم تروح للكنيسه والكنيسه ما راح تنهزم يقول لك موجود كل احد هونك ولكن هو دائما يحاول يصغع يشوه صورة الكنيسه يشوه الاتحاد مع يسوع هي بعدك عن الله لأنه في كل أحد بالطرف الآخر يسوع يقول لنا في كل قداس هناك فرصة للخلاص الله يدعو الإنسان دعوة خلاص في كل أحد وفي كل قداس قد يكون تغيير يصير في حياة اليوم يعطيني خلاص يعطيني فكرة جديد وحالة جديدة نعمة ربنا حباية تشملكم وتكون معاكم دائما وأبدا أمين في هالقراءة راح نقرا عن يسوع دعا الكنعانيه او دعا الناس من هالمنطقه بالكلاب احنا اليوم منو قد بقى يقدر يحكي مع كلب ان ياخذ سير نيم وياخذ الاسم مال العائله والى اخره تغيرت الامور احبائي ذكرنا على مذبح الرب الاب الشهيد يوسف عادل عبودي اللي طبعا صادفت قبل ايام ذكرى استشهاد ابونا يوسف عادل عبودي اللي دائما نصلي انه هو اليوم قد شفعنا وقد يصلينا بالسماء. احنا اليوم نطلب صلوات ابونا ابونا الشهيد واكيد هو دائما حاضر بالروح مع كل من يطلب صلواته حتى يكون معانه. هو واحد من القدوه بالايمان اللي ايمانه يقتدى بينه من خلال فكر الاستشهاد دائما نشوف انه هناك مثل ما يقول فكر القديسين عن هالموضوع يقول انه دماء الشهداء هي بذار للايمان فكل دم يسقط من شهيد هو بذره ايمان تزرع في حياه المسيحيين فاليوم نصلي انه ابونا هو يتشفعنا بالسماء يكون هو في احضان يسوع في الملكوت السماوي وعن ذكرنا وذكرنا ايضا والده المرحوم عادل عبودي وقد تبرعت والد المرحوم الاب الشهيد يوسف عادل عبودي بمبلغ 500 دولار للكنيسه تقبلها الرب. ايضا احبائي ذكرنا المرحوم جنان عباوي ربنا يرحمه. وذكرنا ايضا المرحوم حكمه توزه اللي توفى ب بواشنطن دي سي الاسبوع اللي فات وهو والد عمار توزه ربنا يرحمه. أيضا أحبائي ذكرنا المرحومين شيت الشيخ نجيب بن صوم وأولاده إبراهيم وحازم وأفرام وناظم وماري ويازد وبهيجة وإيمان الشيخ ربنا يرحمهم. راح نصلي صلاة السحرون على مجموعة من المؤمنين 
ايضا ذكرنا المرحوم جميل عسكر وزوجته وسعاد المرحوم فرج ادم وزوجته سلمى ايضا احبائي نورت الكنيسه على نيه الطفله ميرا دنو اللي راح ندخلها بعد نهايه القداس للكنيسه لاول مره هي بنت سامر وفرح دنو ربنا يبارك حياته ويعطيها ايام مباركه الناوسمنت طبعا عندنا اليوم عندنا ميدلاند لانش بعد القداس اللي حضرونا الليديز قد تشوفوه من الصبح ريحه الطبخ تطلع لي فوق باكيد استجعتنا من شويه بعد القداس كنا مدعوين ان نكون مع بعض بمائده المحبه اللي سووها الليديز ربنا يبارك بهم جميعا الليديز اللي تعبوا وجوا واشتغلوا وحضروا طبعا مو بس الليديز اكو عندنا بسام همينه جاء ساعد بسام اسطنبولي قطري جاء قبل ذاك الاسبوع وساعد بالتحضيرات حضر الفرن والى اخره الامور قبل الطبخ ربنا يبارك بكل من جاء وساعد من الليديز حتى اليوم ممكن احنا مجتمعين بمائده محبه ايضا عندنا الايج هانت بارتي ذس ساتردي ابريل 13 سو عندنا الايج هانت بارتي هي لاطفالنا وعوائلهم يوم السبت اللي يجي وطبعا اليوم هو اخر احد قبل الـ قبل الايج هانت بارتي سو اللي ما كنا اخذوا بعد تيكتات للاطفال ولا العوائل ما تكونوا انتوا لبنا موجودي بعد نهايه القداس منتزلون من القاعه تقدرون تحصلون بطايق ليوم السبت القادم ايضا اوفق عندنا فلافل داي يوم ابريل 21 21 4 عندنا فلافل داي بالكنيسه اناونسمنت ايضا عندنا تشيرش كلين اب وي اكسايد تو اناونس ذات اور تشيرش كلين اب داي از كامينج اب اون ابريل 20th ات 9:30 اي ام سو وي ستارت ات 9:30 وي انفايت ايفري ون هو كان هو كان لين We can lend a hand to join us in making our beloved church shine. طبعا عندنا تنظيف الكنيسة يوم ابريل 20 ابريل من بلد الساعة 9 ونص فاللي يقدر يكون معانا حتى ننظف الكنيسة مع بعض كعائلة وحدة. أيضا عندنا سانت بيتر اند بول فيستيفال. We are thrilled to invite you to join us on June 30th for a special festival honoring our graduates for all ages from kindergarten to graduate degree. Holders. Following the Holy Liturgy, we'll gather in the church parking lot for a celebration filled with, filled with food, games, and fellowship. It's a wonderful opportunity to our, for our community to come together and show our support for the accomplishments of our graduates. Mark your calendar and join us for this jo- uh, joyous occasion. So, the festival of St. Peter and Paul will be on the 30th of June. طبعا هو ايضا تخرج لكل اللي يتخرجون من الكندر جاردن الى الجامعات واكيد راح يكون مناسبه حلوه هالسنه راح يكون سيدنا جان ويانا وراح يكون عندنا ايضا رسامه شماس انس شماس انجيلي للكنيسه فول ديكن فالكل مدعو من هسه انه يخليه على الكالندر مو هسه بننزل يعني القاعه حطوه على الكالندر حتى نكون كلنا حاضرين مع بعض ايضا عندنا النيو ييرز ايف بارتي جوين اس فور اور انوال نيو ييرز ايف بارتي اون ديسمبر 31st at San Marino Club. So, we have a couple of years that we're going to do it in San Marino. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. So, we're going to do it on the calendar. اللي هي نطلب بها بركة الصليب أن يكون معنا مع متصف الصوم المقدس. اللي مستعدين لتناول the stand up together and pray the prayer of confession. In the most noble priesthood, ascribed unto you, Father Priest, by which you set loose of God, I have sinned through all my senses, both inwardly and outwardly, in word and in deed and in thought. My sin is great, very great, and I repent of it most sincerely, purposing not to fall again into the same heaven, preferring death rather than embrace him. And I ask you by the authority of the 
sacred priesthood, that you absolve me of my sins, asking God to pardon me through his grace. Amen. Let's take a minute to think in our sins, our transgressions, and to ask God for his forgiveness. May the Lord have mercy upon you and guide you to eternal life by the authority of the sacred of priesthood which was entrusted by our Lord Jesus Christ to his disciples. So in turn, hand their successors, it was, it was given to you with his civil servant. I absolve you, my brothers and sisters, from all sins that you have confessed, as well as, as, well as other past questions that have escaped. Remember the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, wherever I may be. And
Worshipped and glorified is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory be to Him forever, from one generation to the other. Hallelujah. <laughs> لم قبل ما سافر خود مخي أقير الحسود حب أوش يبقون ودحقاه والقل يوثافق دوميك موران والوهان العالمين ميمون رحمة ودلو رابو فرقو دلن شرام شعال فيني قدشيونين وعالي وبين عنو سوبيهون وعالي كل ما قل يوش توتو ومش توت فيني بهون بثريون علم العالم عالمين
Thank you. 
Christ our God, who after forty days came to the temple with his mother Mary, and was carried in the arms of Simeon, pious and righteous old man, bless all of you, and be your keeper day and night by the might of his succor and grace. May he be unto you steadfast fortification and a stronghold to deliver you from all afflictions and sufferings, and a haven of peace to save you from all anxiety, that you may offer him glory and thanksgiving now and evermore. Amen. But my Thank you. 